Hi everyone, it's Jen Kincaid, Garden Girl with Two Peas in a Bucket with another Scrap Your Stash video. Today I'm going to be talking about using up your stash of gold. I made this two page layout using lots of different gold elements. I have a couple of different inks from Heidi Swap and Brilliant Stamping Ink, several different washi tapes, some gold dotted vellum from Dear Lizzie that I know everybody loves, plus a tag from Crepe Paper, stars from Pink Paisley, rub-ons by Pebbles, and letter stickers by Dear Lizzie and Crepe Paper. I'm also going to incorporate the printables from Two Peas in a Bucket this month and other cut files. I have roller stamps from Glitz Design and a square punch that I'm going to use. So let's get started making some embellishments. First, I'm going to show you how I made this square. I have a 2x2 two two punch that I always keep handy for different things, and I made this embellishment to go with a grid design that I'm going to use on the right-hand side of my two-page layout. So I'm going to take strips of washi tape, line them up. As you can see, I've already done this once before, so I know it takes four strips with this width of washi tape. Kind of eyeball it, make sure you line everything up unless you want overlapping washi tape lines. Smooth it all out, line it up in your square punch. Press it down and you have a quick and easy embellishment using washi tape. And this is gonna go perfectly with the two by two printables from Two Peas in a Bucket for this month. And so I have two pieces of 8.5 by 11 white cardstock, basil orange peel white cardstock, to do my two page layout. I don't often do two page layouts, but I thought with this all about me theme this month that it would be good to kind of just do more than one page. So right now I'm just going to kind of configure how I want everything laid out. I've got the gold dotted vellum from Dear Lizzie the tag from Crate Paper, and a few of the printables and a wood veneer from Dear Lizzie's new line. And it's just, I'm laying this out, trying to figure out the overall design and how to make everything cohesive. So I love these printables this month from Two Peas in a Bucket, and I was so excited to incorporate them into my page. And the cut files that I use, I actually ended up making, these are cards that I sized down to two by two to fit in this grid design. And then I welded an extra square to the bottom of the card in order to make a pocket so I can stick tags inside of the pockets and put different journaling things down. So here you can see I just, I used some gold POW glitter POW paper for that ampersand pocket. And then the create printable there, it prints out in gray, but I use some gold paint to lightly paint over that to add a gold embellishment to that. And then with this gold dotted paper, I decided to use my two by two square punch again and put some white cardstock behind it in order to make that paper be a little bit more sturdy and for it to stand out a little bit better in the overall design. And I'm going to use some pop dots under some of those 2x2 two two squares to give it some dimension. All right now I'm going to show you how I embellished one of these pockets with some of the Gold Brilliant Stamping Ink and a Glitz Design Roller Stamp. This is the larger triangle roller stamp and with the stamp pad being small, you just have to make sure that you have your whole roller stamp covered. And also, since this is a roller stamp, it keeps kind of rolling around. But this is really simple and easy and quick way to add some gold to an embellishment or a pocket or your page. It was just that easy. And so now I'm going to start working on the left side of my layout and putting together the photo of me on this side. And I decided to add some pattern paper 
behind the overall cluster of embellishments and photo and I chose some Project Life paper from the Midnight Collection. And because that is such a bold stripe, I decided to put some vellum over it as well to kind of tone down the boldness of the stripes and this paper that I'm cutting out is actually sized to five by six. And because most of the paper will be covered by the photos and embellishments, I don't have to really worry about what adhesive I'm using on the vellum because it's mostly going to be covered up. So I'm going to adhere this patterned paper with the vellum over top of it down, right there, kind of in the middle of my page. And then I'm going to put pop dots on my photos. I like for them to pop up just a little bit, just in case I decide to add some extra embellishments underneath my photos, which I kind of tend to do from time to time, so I don't want it all just to be flat, and I want it to be easier to add extra things. And so for this printable, I decided to cut it down a little bit so it'd be more like a, a tab underneath my photo. The live life with purpose. And now you can see how quick this is all coming together. I'm adding the crepe paper tag, and I believe this is from DIY Shop from Crepe Paper. Now I'm adding my Dear Lizzie paper, and I really... I love that paper. I know like a lot of you do and I struggle with hoarding it versus using it on my layouts and I just decided since I was doing gold for this video that this would be a perfect way to use it in a couple of different ways um, as a layering embellishment here. And now I'm taking the Dear Lizzie Wood Veneer Heart. I stuck it down, put a pop dot, pop dot on it and now I'm using these gold foil stickers from Dear Lizzie as well and putting the word love on top. You can't see real well in this video but you can see it in some of the detail shots that I've included with the video. How it's all kind of coming together and then I have this recorded tab. This is a printable by Banana Fish Studios. Banana Fish Studios always puts out really great printables with two peas in a bucket every month and I'm using it to kind of be a directional element to the right side of my two-page layout as well. Now I'm using this Create printable as well. I'm adding a pop dot. I cut it out with a scalloped punch. I'm just creating more dimension and layers using that right on top of the tag. I'm going to be getting these gold rub-ons by Pebbles out and cutting out a few of the phrases. They're really easy to use. They come off the, the backing really well. Just cut out what you want and apply it where you want it. And it comes off really smooth on the vellum. Just apply even pressure everywhere, making sure that you have everything down. And I really didn't have to go back and do anything else. So now I'm going to get another phrase, smile phrase there as well, and uh, apply that to the lower part of my layout. You can see how everything's just coming together pretty easy. Gold's just a lot of fun to use an, as an accent. It goes really well with this month's color scheme, two pieces in a bucket, the neutral black and white and gray. Now I'm going to add some of these gold polka dotted stars from Pink Paisley. First I thought I wanted to use the big one, but then it just seemed too much. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the smaller star. And these are adhesive back chipboard stars. Now I'm going to get ready to add some ink splatters. I've got a paper towel here. I've covered up my photo. And I'm using the Heidi Swap Color Shine in Gold Lame. I'm just going to take it and add a few splatters here and there. And even sometimes I can take my 
nozzle and create the larger drips that I'm going for and I'll let it set for a while to let the paper soak it up a little bit. You could also use your heat gun to try to speed this up or even just let it dry on its own but I confess to being somewhat impatient whenever I am working on any layout whatsoever so I always have paper towels handy to soak up the excess. And now I have this Me Stamp by Evalicious that also has an arrow on it. At first I thought I wanted to stamp directly on the cardstock, but I know because of the texture of the cardstock I opted not to. And so I have these small white shipping tags with a smooth surface and I'm using my stays on ink that I thought would just work out a little bit better than doing it directly on the cardstock. But if you want that textured look to your stamping, then that's great as well. I just preferred to have the, the smoother look from the tag surface. Now we're going to work on the right hand side of the, the layout with the grid design. I've already put most of it in place. I just have the left hand side there to kind of show you how everything's coming together. And I adhered most of these with either just glue tape or pop dots. And now I'm taking some white thread, wrapping it around my first two fingers. I also have some gold metallic thread. And I'm going to wrap around my fingers as well and just create that circle of thread or the nest of thread that I like to put under some of my areas of my layouts or even my embellishments. I'm taking a little bit of tacky glue. I just like using tacky glue because I know it will adhere really well. You don't need a lot or your fingers might actually get stuck to the page. So just take a little bit of it, um, play with the thread to see how it looks. And then I've added a vellum butterfly to the top of it that I'm going to machine stitch down to my page. Now that I have that down, clip some extra threads off there. I'm going to add a little bit more thread too. First behind that pink paisley star, obviously I should have done that before I stuck it down, but the star is pretty forgiving and not damaging my layout. So I can lift it up pretty easy and it still has a, enough adhesive to stay there. Plus I know I'm going to mis machine stitch the middle of that star as well to make sure that it stays down. And I'm going to add a circle of thread behind that create embellishment to bring things together. And now I'm going to take the Heidi Swap Color Shine Mist again and add the splatters on the right hand side of this layout to finish it off and bring it all together. Again, dabbing with the paper towel the excess ink. So dig into your stash of gold and create a project and upload to the Two Piece in a Bucket Gallery for a chance to win a $10 gift card. Thanks for watching. I'm Jen Kincaid, Garden Girl with Two Peas in a Bucket.